What if I asked you to recall what you did yesterday? Would you be able to do that? What about what you did last week, last month, or even last year? Do you remember exactly what you did that day? Throughout our lifetime, we mainly remember the most memorable moments of our lives, whether that be your first day of school, buying your first house, the day of your marriage, or the death of a family member. The scary yet inedible truth is that we often forget the majority of events that happen in our lives, even though each and every one of these events have affected us in some way or another. But what if there was something we could do to retrieve this memory? Perhaps something simple, something tangible, and something easily accessible with the ability to preserve memories for a lifetime. What if I told you that this something is a thing that 91% of the world population owns, an item we bring everywhere we go, and an item we spend hours upon every day? And this, of course, is a mobile phone. With the ability to capture photos and freeze a moment of history to look back on forever, you don't need to be a professional photographer with a high-end camera to capture memories. All you need is a mobile phone and the will to get started. Back in 2019, I stumbled across this digital camera from 15 years ago, and I was immediately drawn by the unique color that it took, which was a huge difference from the photos taken with modern day smartphones. And since January 1st, 2020, I've been taking a photo every day of my life. Whether it be the 5 a.m. hikes to catch a sunrise or the camping trips I have went on with my friends, these hundreds of photos have allowed me to recall memories I would have otherwise forgotten, allowing me to appreciate the little things in life and relive experiences for many years to come. This is a photo from April 4th, 2020. And although it might just seem like a photo of a rainy day on a track, for me, it represents the first time I ran five kilometers under 20 minutes, which was a time I went beyond my limits and was the result of months of training. If it wasn't for this challenge, at that time, I would have never thought of taking a photo but it's the act of capturing small, small moments like these where I'm glad that I did. By forcing myself to take a photo every day, it brings out the raw emotions and candid moments of my life. It allows me to recall times not only when I felt like I was on top of the world, but also the times when I felt like everything was against me. According to a study co-authored by Dr. Linz Bruski from Lancaster University, Taking a photo every day has been found to lead to mental health benefits through better, through better self-care and community interaction. What they found was that participants who took a photo every day were able to lower their stress levels in a constantly adapting environment, allowing them to take a breather and process the moment at once. I encourage you all to pull out your phone right now and snap a quick photo of whatever you're doing. It may seem like a fairly simple task, but the hard part comes in doing this every day without fail. Now, in whatever way you can, find a way to remind yourself to take a photo again tomorrow, whether that be writing it down on a post-it note, setting a reminder on your phone, or writing it on your hand. Make sure you have a method to prevent you from failing this challenge tomorrow. My sister and I originally started this challenge at the same time, but she ended up failing on the second day. Because like other habits, they're hard to keep. Find a way to keep you accountable. And in a couple of weeks, after pushing through the initial barrier, you'll soon build up the habit of taking a photo every day. Now comes the most important part of this process, which is reliving the memories. Every so often, I find myself looking through these memories and taking a photo down memory lane. Pick a single photo to capture the essence in your life. Delete the ones that don't. Back them up on the cloud and then do something with them. Turn these photos into a collage and hang them on your walls or a photo book to browse through. The general idea is to keep them in a physical form that you can truly appreciate in person rather than a cluster of pixels on your device.
Although I'm an avid fan of photography as an art form, I don't edit any of these daily photos. I don't use filters to try to enhance a mood or digitally erase objects from a scene or even just fixate over the exposure. When snapping a photo, instead of focusing on composition, lighting, or color, I try to focus on capturing memories and feelings. Now, I'm not advising you to take photos all the time, snapping hundreds of photos every day until you get the perfect one. All I'm recommending you to do is try to get into the habit of taking a photo every day. Simply store it and look back on and look back on it later on. If you choose to undergo this challenge, it's worth noting to go in with the mindset by remembering that the photos that you take are for you and only you. If you choose so, feel free to post them later on. But what I found was that when you get into the mindset of wanting to post a photo, you unconsciously tend to make your life seem more interesting than it really is, capturing ungenuine moments and losing out on raw emotions. In doing so, the pressure to make things perfect disappears, and it allows for more authentic moments to appear before you. This goes without saying, but not every day of your life will be interesting. You may not see the appeal of capturing Monday moments, but looking back, what I've discovered is that I truly appreciate the seemingly insignificant moments of my life. Today, I'm on my 875th photo, and choosing to take a photo every day has been one of the best decisions I've ever made. The ability to access memories forever I would have otherwise forgotten about is something that has made me really appreciate the little moments in life. I urge you all to all start Try documenting your life, preserve your memories, and try to reflect on them in the future. It's easy to discard the significance of every passing second, but it's important to notice that within each day, there are beautiful moments worth remembering. Thank you.